Here we're having our campus science fair. Students from pre-K all the way to fifth grade have submitted their entries to their classrooms and the top two per classroom were submitted to the campus science fair. We have over 50 projects here in our gymnasium and they range from experimental design to uh, inventions. My project is about um, choo-choo trains. I played that all day. This, this is me when I was in, in Walmart. And that one was, was when I, I go to Toys R Us. My, my project's about dinosaurs. You separate them from different classes. I learn about dinosaurs, what they ate. These ones eat meat because these ones have sharp tooth. These ones eat, these ones eat meat and plants because they, and these ones eat plants. They're the herpetors, onivores, and carnivores. These ones have flat teeth, and, and these ones have sharp, and these ones have both kind of teeth. My project is about ants' body system. The, I made this ant by using paint, foam balls, toothpicks, beads, pipe cleaners, and glue. And, and the purpose is to identify and learn about an ant's body, body system. I learned about an ant has all of its parts in here. The heart, everything in there. And the thorax only holds the legs, nothing else. I'm shaping the ant out and I'm painting the ant with foam balls. I learned a lot about it, like scientific, and I did I did this all by myself. I had to I had to glue all of these and and um, put the tape in and glue it all right there. And I was doing a lot of research. When it's sometimes the new moon, it kind of has a solar eclipse that it turns all red, and the sun is getting it too much much heat. That's why it turns into a solar eclipse. And the half moon is the fourth, the, the first quarter, and this is the third quarter, the half moon. They quite like the same, but it's like they have a half of the other side and the half of the other side. The moon takes 29 days for the moon to orbit the Earth. The, the Earth is 80 times bigger than the moon and the sun is 100 times bigger than the Earth. Um, I have two grown chickens that are used to living in their garage and they're containing a lot of poop, so they have to live outside, but we are, we, we're afraid what's gonna happen to them on winter and that's why we invented the chicken clothes. I did, I put on chicken's clothes the, the, the first one was the polyester shirt dress. It, it, perf it walked perfectly and everything, but it fitted too big. And the cotton t-shirt, it picked per perfectly. And the cotton alcohol shirt dress, it, it, just, it didn't move, it walked, but then it, it just sat down. I learned that if you guys have chickens and you're really worried of what's gonna happen to them on winter, you can invent chicken clothes. My project, how to make magnetic slime. I try and prove everyone um, magnetic do attracted to slime. And these are the materials I use. The uh, plastic container, borax, uh, uh, Elmer's glue, white water, iron fillings, and, hmm, iron fillings. and the other plastic container. Hmm. And step one, you gotta get a Elmer's glue and it's pour it in a plastic container. Step two, you gotta use a water bottle and pour it in a glue container. Step three, you gotta uh, shake it and shake it a little bit and pour it to the to the same plastic container. Step four. Uh, use a borax and the uh, water and put it in the other plastic container. 
and the water goes first, and the borax goes second. And you have to stir the borax water, and and you have to start the other one, the white glue. And you have to start it up, and you have to put a little bit of borax water. Step three, uh, when the borax is dissolved, when it disappeared, then you can do it. Then step five, when, when it becomes slimy, you have to use the iron fillings and mix it together. And when that happens, and you have to use a magnet and test it out, and, it, and then it will work. Uh, my project is about a helicopter and it was homemade and it took me two or three weeks to make it and it was pretty hard to get the motor right, right here in place and it took a while to like get it to start working like this but we got it but we wanted to make it fly but it didn't, it was like going like this it was shaking off the ground What, what did you make it out of? Um, a, bo a bottle, popsicle sticks, a hard straw that had metal going inside, and a uh, mortar. I liked about me and my grandpa working together and uh, getting this to work about it, to like make it work properly, but we didn't get to that place where it, like, where can I go flying and uh, use a remote to make it work. It's important that the students are exposed to all of the fields within science so that they're prepared for the jobs that are going to be available to them once they get into high school and college. That makes them more college ready. It also prepares them to be more well-rounded as individuals contributing to society. Uh, it is our hope that at the end of the science fair the students are able to understand the process of the scientific method so that they are better problem solvers and they're able to critically think and go into the world with more experience and the abilities to solve problems with regards to science and those without in the fields of science. I would just like to thank all of the professionals that came out to be judges. I greatly appreciate your time on behalf of our principal and all of the administration here at Jackson Elementary would like to extend our gratitude to all of the individuals that came out to judge for us this morning.